Hey Royal folks, it's great to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. And of course, as always, before we start and move on to any further details, I would absolutely love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you do so now and hit that notification bell too, because we don't want you to miss out on any of the raw news and drama that is about to come in the coming weeks. So we're going to get started today on the video. Now, he's been playing Russian roulette with his own brain. And if he's got away with it, he's a lucky man. Harry is an example of what medical researchers call N equals 1. That's a fancy way of saying his experiences are wholly anecdotal. The number of people involved in his unscientific study is one, i.e. himself. It's the least relevant, most potentially misleading kind of evidence, and it's contradicted by experience. I have as an NHS psychiatrist all the time. How many times has Harry had to join police, nurses and social workers to detain a psychotic cannabis user under the Mental Health Act, as I did a few days ago? This man needed urgent, urgently to be sectioned for his own safety and of his neighbours who lived in terror of him. Of course, not everyone who smokes dope will become psychotic, but it's a significant risk one that Harry didn't even mention during his conversation with trauma therapist Gabo Mate at the weekend, where tickets for the live-streamed event cost £19. The price included a copy of the memoir. Now, research by the Royal College of Psychiatrists shows that regular use of marijuana doubles the risk of developing schizophrenia or experiencing a psychotic episode and that these dangers are marked in young users. Harry also didn't highlight the evidence that prolonged cannabis use is associated with personality and behavioural change, especially socially withdrawal and what psychiatrists call avolition, a lack of self-directed motivation. Numerous studies have been linked to the drug, to dropping out of school and university, lower income, greater dependence on benefits, unemployment and dissatisfaction with life, as well as an increased propensity for suicide. As for his enthusiasm for ayahuasca, a mind-altering drink made from plants found in Amazon rainforest, the, psych the uh, psychotic shrub is almost speechless of stupidity, his endorsement. Any qualified psychiatrist who promoted the drug as would probably deserve to be stuck. The Duke of Sussex has forfeited any right that he might have had to be seen as a credible representative for mental health charities. Thus, Prince Harry has to realise that his experiences are completely insulated from everyone else's reality, and his self-serving words can cause immense harm to people whose lives he will never understand. So what do you guys think about the news? Do you think Prince Harry needs to wake up from his delusional world? Do you think it's high time for Prince Harry to see the reality before it's too late? Please share your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more Royal News and Analysis. Bye for now.